What is up, YouTube? Uh, so I'm making a video response to the Atheist Experience show on this. And basically what I want to say is when you're getting into a debate, um, I, I, the thing that I feel is most necessary about a debate is to define the terms. Um, I don't feel that the terms were, de were defined very well in this conversation. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to explain why that's important. When you're talking to, I'm Christian, obviously, if you see my channel. And when you're talking to, like I said, I also believe in evolution. When you're talking to an atheist that also believes in evolution, you have to couch your questions and the way you define, um, or basically you have to couch the way you talk about evolution in the way that they're talking about it. If you're trying to prove Christianity to be correct. Now this guy um, cited Genesis 1, 1 through, or Genesis 1, 1 through 4. But I'm going to read Genesis 1 to you. And for all you people that say, you're a new version user. Because I have a lot of KJV only people on my profile. What am I reading? What am I using right there? See it? Yeah. Local Church Bible Publishers, Holy Bible, Authorized King Jacob Version. So it's a 1611. And here we go. And this is the argument, and I'll explain why after that I don't agree with this. In the beginning, time God created the heaven space and the earth matter now the reason why I think that that's not a good way to argue is for the simple reason of the Genesis account was never meant to be um, it was never meant to be a science book so to try to use Genesis to prove science is sort of a dishonest position to take or an ignorant one, at least in that matter. Um, Genesis was never meant to be scientific. So you're using Genesis to try to argue a point that the book was not written for. You know what proves the Bible? It proves it really good, too. The Bible. No need to conflate terms, no need to try to fit, make them fit, and that's not what their intentions were. Now, I want to talk also about how Matt Dillhunty engaged in this conversation, too. When you're talking to somebody, you need to define the terms and recognize where there might be difference. Like the term theory, I've heard that a bunch of times. Even from fellow Christians, because I'm also a Christian and I believe in evolution. Sorry, my eyes are dry. Um, when they say, oh, <clears throat> evolution is <coughs> just a theory. When talking about science, evolution or theory has a different meaning. So yes, they do describe evolution as a theory, but it's not meant in the same way that what we mean it when we use it as common people. Theory is basically an idea, and you have a lot of facts behind it, but it's not 100% proven yet. What it is becomes a law. Um, like... In certain fields of science, gravity is a theory, but we know that it exists. We just can't. It's harder to define exactly what gravity is. You get what I'm saying? So. Uh, the best way to, to get out of arguing those terms in that way is just to understand that when they say theory they're using it in a different way than we are so define your terms because it's not like if I was talking to a friend of mine and said you know I really have a theory 
on how this happened, or I really have a theory about this or that. I'm using it in a different way than it's used in the scientific realm. And that's either a dishonest position or a very little, or a very least, an ignorant position to take. Hey, everybody, by the way. Angel. That's the best cat in the world over there. I'll even show you up close. There you go. Okay. Anyway, so to just to to use theory in that way. It just shouldn't be done. Now, the rest of the video, um, here here we go. Matt Dillahunty, I doubt you'll ever see this. I really don't care if you do or not. I might not want you to. But the way that you handle callers who disagree with you, to put on hold, to overtalk them, and to hang up the phone on them, shows dishonest debating technique or skill in the way you, t the way you are, too. For the simple fact of you try to overpower the conversation. In an actual and honest debate, it's not overpowering the conversation, it's proving your case. And I don't think that's something that you understand. And this camera is getting really close to my face. Um, I don't think that's something that you understand. I think that you basically try to um, think that you basically try to um, overpower the conversation and, and that's I This is just something that bugs me for the simple fact that I don't um, I don't think that how you handle things is exactly the best way. You're not honest in the way that you debate. You're not honest in the way that you talk. That's why you get the callers that you get. I'm trying to see if it'll still do the follow my face thing. Uh, yeah, it's still doing it. All right, I got it to stop switching up the way that it is. I think. Anyway, um, you're not honest in the way that you cover things, and you're not honest in how you engage your people or your your callers and that I think is a problem it's not an honest way to do it and that's why you get in the conversations that you get in accurately portray what people believe accurately portray what people are saying and you won't have that understand the terms on your side too define your terms let them define their terms and then just go about things the way that you do I mean or go about things in a way where it's intellectually honest. Um, and I think that you'll find that you will have more success in the conversations that you have with people. You'll, you'll, you know, you'll be able to Basically, basically, you'll be able to get farther in your conversations. So that's all I have to say. Peace. Subrate. Comment below. Later. Deuces.